Hello everyone, I am going to explain advanced communication lab, microwave experiment, measurement of uh, guide wavelength and uh, VSWR. So before going to the experiment, we should uh, know the setup of this uh, power supply, general settings. And here, see this is the beam voltage, this should be always minimum. And this repeller, so this is always maximum. And this HT should be on. So this is on now. And here in meter selection knob first it should be in voltage. So this one, this is in voltage. Next we are putting to current. Now it is reading it's 21. Then to repeller. Okay, after putting to repeller. So all these are the components. There is first one is a reflex hystron mount. So here this is nothing but it uses velocity modulation in order to transfer continuous electron beam into corresponding microwave power and next device is isolator so it makes this microwave signal to pass in the forward direction it avoids back reflection of the signal and next one is variable attenuator so here uh, it is like we can keep into 15 and this is nothing but a screw, screw gauge adjustment and here uh, the required attenuation is given by the user how much it is required for the experiment so it is called as variable attenuator then next is frequency meter so we can rotate it and uh, keep to the required frequency now it is kept in 9.8 so you can keep in 9.8 gigahertz range you can keep and it gives uh, required frequency for how much it is needed it is used to measure for the frequency measurement and next one is a uh, slotted section so here uh, it should cover desired frequency and uh, it should be equipped with accurate scale indicator so this is the scale you have to rotate from either from forward that is from the rightmost end you can start or you can start the rotation from the leftmost end so this is the scale measurement okay so like this and next last device here we are using this is the horn antenna that is for just to find out VSWR so the total setup it's looking like this okay so from this repeller so it is in the maximum position we have to do to the minimum position such that we should get the square wave on the CRO so maximum square wave on the CRO so here now we got the signal so here we have to find out maximum voltage and minimum voltage by rotating this so it is it is the maximum voltage and uh, we should stop here and we should note down the reading so it is nothing but uh, v maximum it is 24 and v minimum we have to move again and now it is in minimum position so like this it is the maximum position we should note the first reading and next for the minimum position we should note down the reading and it is nothing but 12 so we should uh, VSWR formula is V max divided by V minimum so 24 divided by 12 so that is equal to 2 so next is uh, measurement of uh, guide wavelength so here no need to change any settings already done and without uh, disturbing the setup we just replaced horn antenna by movable shot okay now uh, we can uh, take from either from rightmost side or leftmost side we can change the scale reading so now i'm starting from rightmost side so looking to the cro screen see this is the first maximum we have to find out the first minimum reading so now it is this is the first minima just we have to note down this scale reading so that is nothing but 10.2 that is distance d1 after that again i am finding out the second minima by rotating this and looking to the this is the maximum one after that, we will get the second minima. So, this 
so now it is second minimum stopped here and uh, should note this scale reading and i'm writing it as 12.3 so this is the formula lambda g is equal to 2 into d2 minus d1 2 into d2 is 12.3 minus 10.2 so lambda g is equal to 2 into 2.1 that is nothing but 4.2 so this is how the measurement of guide wavelength is done thank you